just wanted to talk about something real quick. Um, daughter's sleeping in the back seat. Just got home from work. Building another school. And uh, hard work today. Working in a, a ditch. The guys are laying heavy stone. I'm just putting flashing on and waterproofing some stuff. And, and I, I was listening to a podcast. The guy's talking about uh, some transgender issues. And he brought up a really good point. And I got to say, I really only know one person that's trans and I really like this person a lot she has a lot in common with me we share common interest I really like this person a lot and I have nothing bad to say about them as a person at all And there's something that this YouTuber, this podcaster said. <laughs> and it had to do with a man who was married. And this man had children. And he's married and he's had these young kids. And he felt as though he was actually a woman inside. So he one day decided to put on his makeup and dress like a woman and announce to his wife and his kids, uh, I am a woman. You do not have a dad anymore. I'm your mom. You have two moms now. And... And what this YouTuber said was that if you're born a man, you have you have a responsibility to live your life like a man. And from my life experience I'm living the life of a man. When I go to work, there is no question that I'm a man surrounded by men. We do man stuff. Sometimes we goof around and we tease. You know, goof around, tease. That someone does something that's not manly. <laughs> but we're all definitely men. We can't help that we're men, you know, we are not pretty, uh, we don't look pretty, we're not, we don't have flowing features of, of beauty, uh, if we don't pay attention, we get grisly. We are large, we are heavy, we are strong, and, uh, and we like to work. What is hard for the average person walking down the street is an everyday easy task for us, lifting heavy things, doing Heavy work, hard things. is everyday stuff for us. We've been doing it for years. And what we do is seen as men work. I've never seen a woman do the things that I do. Maybe on a rare occasion I have. Maybe. But here's the thing. If I decided someday I'm going to be a woman...
does that mean that I'm going to hang up my tool belt and my hard hat and say, I can't do those things because I'm a woman. I'm a woman now. I can't build schools. I can't climb around in a ditch. I can't carry those heavy things. I'm a woman. Women don't do that. And I got to tell you, the truth is, very few women do what I do. Or they, they, maybe they just can't. They don't, they don't want to. I don't see them there. Where are you? Why are there no women doing what I do? It pays really good. So does that mean if I turn into a woman that I cannot do it? So when this YouTuber said, if you're born of your gender, you have a responsibility to live like your gender. And I think to myself, when I get the sore back, my knees hurt from climbing around and dirt and the rocks and the ditches, my hands hurt and I wake up and my fingers are stuck. I get scratches, dirt on my fingers. Well, how can I get out of this? Maybe I can just be a woman. And I know that you, that could be, oh, it's just such a terrible, transphobic, misogynistic thing to say. But all I'm just saying is, this guy kind of had a point. I don't... I don't think I should become a woman. I feel that what I do as a man is so important that it would be a great it would be a great injustice for me to not do it because it comes up quite often the phrase if you don't do it who will who will pick up 500 brick today and build that wall for that school who will pick pick up those 200 block that weighs 70 pounds a piece and build that locker room that classroom who will pick up those buckets of concrete and structurally fortify that wall and bend the steel and put the steel inside the walls and build the doorways and place the the doors who will do that if men like you don't do it, who will? Will the school just not be built then? Wouldn't it just be easier for me to just do something easier? Yeah, it would be. But that wouldn't be fair. Because I can do that. I was born to do that. I was born with the capability to grow arms that are 20 inches around to build shoulders that are as big as my head to be able to lift up thousands and thousands of pounds every day day after day year after year in one day I pick up more things than some people do their entire life and I do it again every day and sometimes I do it with a smile on my face. I laugh around and joke with the men around me. It's a responsibility that I do that because I can. And because I should. I should because I can. It's, it's like I was born to do it. And to say that I'm somehow less than, or I'm somehow a dirty person, or a toxic person, or I'm a mean person, or a bad person, or less than, because this is who I am? Well, that's just silly. And the same thing goes for any woman. For a woman to do what they were born to do, and what they do well, it's silly to say that they're a bad person to, for them to do what they do. And for them to do what they do well, 
Is it not? It's great to see a woman excel in anything. It surely is. But when I know that I'm supposed to be doing something because I know that no one else can, and it just so happens to be something that men do, I get it. I get it. Now, could I be a trans, someone that turned into a woman, but be like the strongest brick lane, block lane, school building woman that ever lived? I suppose. I suppose that could be it. That would be a record-breaking person, wouldn't it? Right? <laughs> but I think that's what would be the patriarchy. I think doing that is what would be misogynistic. I think that is what would be like the attention-seeking uh, look at me narcissistic thing because that's the thing that says hey look at me look at me look at me I am a transitioned person who turned from man to woman and now I'm the best woman bricklayer in the world and I used to be a man and I followed my heart and I became a woman and now I'm the strongest woman construction worker that ever lived. <laughs> it's clearly a ploy for attention. You know, and at the same token, I gotta say there are men that are very feminine and there are women that are very manly. And I'm sure that, you know, when things that are out of their control uh, lead them to question who they are for so long and they experience abuse in their life and someone influences them and manipulates them to question their gender and they look at themselves in the mirror and they see someone that's a little bit more feminine than let's say someone like me who's clearly masculine and they say to themselves I can't compare with that masculine man who lays the brick all day long I'm nowhere near him he's a man look at me I'm a weak frail man so maybe I'm actually a woman and he looks at himself in the mirror and he sees a skinny skinny person and then and then he says, maybe I am a girl, and he puckers his lips, and he bats his eyes, and he turns himself and kind of acts and poses like a girl. And then one day he puts on makeup, and he says, you know what? Maybe I am a woman. And then he walks outside, and, and just the right person says, bravo to you, bravo to you. You're a woman. And you finally are being your true self. I get it. I see what's going on. I see what's happening. But I also know that everyone has a place. Everyone has something to do. Everyone has a spot. Everyone's good at something. And some people are good at pretending to be a woman. Maybe that's their thing. I did. Honestly, that it just seems like that's what they're good at. You know, I. Are they? It comes down to like the, the chromosome that your father gave you, and you put onto the egg. Like that's the science. That's the that's the constant 
the constant is the sperm that was planted into your mother's egg. The chromosomes were male or the chromosomes were female. And all the DNA that has made every cell in your body is implanted with that DNA that says male or female. That's the constant. All the things that you can control, it's just like everything else. It's all the decisions that I've made to work as hard as I can because of my responsibility. Well, I think other people have worked as hard as they can to do what they do. Whatever you choose to do, you choose to do what you do. But I gotta say, if you're somebody who is pushing children who don't have developed minds, who haven't gone through their puberty yet, who don't know who they are yet, or someone who who's maybe in an abusive relation or abusive home or has re- abusive relationships and and are being manipulated and have some weaknesses in their life and are being raised in some situations that leaves them vulnerable to manipulation by you stay away from them don't put these thoughts into their minds that maybe they need to be transitioned or they need to take hormones, or maybe you're actually a woman, or maybe you're actually... Don't do that. Don't do that stuff to people. It's not your child, and don't even do it to your own child. Those are the kind... that That is abuse. That is manipulation. That is not good. Do not do those things to those people. If someone were to do that to one of my kids, I think I'd... mm. You know, there's a short list of things that would really make me quite, quite upset. And that's one of them. So, just something to think about.